We are staying at the very first fully true five-star Airbnb we've ever stayed at. It's just five stars after five stars. His reasoning for why they couldn't be doing that is like they have five stars. My thought is that they're just killing everybody who comes in here and giving themselves five stars. To have her say that, it just like makes you think like maybe that's what's happening here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me on today's adventure. We are here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we are staying at the very first fully true five-star Airbnb we've ever stayed at. We stayed at many uh, Airbnb in our day. Never at a 100% five-star Airbnb. But that changes this weekend. Now, I gotta say, pulling up, to this thing, it does not look like it would be a fully five-star Airbnb. We're not in some lap of luxury. We're not in some fancy Dan neighborhood. We're just here. And this is what it looks like. It's this one right here in the center of the screen. 1621, whatever street we're on. Doesn't look all that appealing, but I guess we'll find out. Beyond that, we are actually here for Teeny One's birthday. Yeah. We're celebrating Teeny's birthday here in Minnesota. We are going to be heading out and doing some exploring. The main destination that we'll be going to is the Mall of America, which if you've been subscribed to the channel since basically the beginning, you know that we frequent the Mall of America here in Minnesota. Uh, obviously, I, I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan too, so there's always another perk of coming up here to go to the US Bank Stadium, which hopefully we'll take Dash to for his very first visit. So yeah, that just kind of gives you an idea of what we're gonna be doing over these uh, next few days. We're excited. We got some beautiful weather right now. So we're gonna get unloaded into our Airbnb and we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. So come along and uh, come along and join us. There's Dash back there just chilling, ready to get out of this vehicle. He's been sitting in for hours. Let's head into this uh, five-star Airbnb and see what it looks like. It's very nice. What do you think of the bed? What do you think, homie? Do you like it? Yeah. Worth a five star rating? You think so? Yeah. No, it's very nice in here. Very nice. Very nice. I like the decor. I love that big mirror. Yeesh. Yeah, the mirror is really cool. The lighting. Obviously, there's very nice little modern touches here. Yeah. You look at yourself in the mirror. You are. Hi, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so intense. <laughs> he wow. was. Be careful. Careful. This is the edge of the bed right here. <laughs> There's more to explore. Do you want to get down so we can explore it? Come here. Got TV. Fancy fan. I believe this pulls out to a bed, right? It's a hide a bed? Yes. Yep. Yeah. This, this chair is pretty cool. Look at you. Kitchen. Oh, wow. Yeah, cute little kitchen. Boy, that is a throne room if I've ever seen a throne room. Not a whole lot of leg room. Mercy. <laughs> Look at the immense leg room for taking a dump. Holy. <laughs> it's a good thing here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little shower. So far, it's very nice. Oh yeah, back patio area. It is shared with someone over there, if they are here, that is. Can you 
And Dash is already getting into things. Oh, that's the chest right there, baby. Okay. This is the kitchen. Wow. What do you think, Dash? Okay. It's nice, he says. <laughs> you see your milk? Do you want some milk? Oh, he's doing Look milk. at those hands, asking for some milk. Good job. Do you not want it? He's like, no, I just wanted to taste the straw. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, it's very modern, very nice. It's nice and fun. Dash is a walker now, which is crazy. Look at him go. He likes whatever's in there. <laughs> this literally just started this week. It's all the things on the tables. Oh, you see the remote. Oh. It's your favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Definitely have to move some stuff up. Yes, so far it's very nice. We'll see as the trip progresses how it evolves. Hopefully it's nice and quiet. Um, and we sleep well and have a lot of fun to make memories. Right, right Dasher boy? Make memories? Hey Dash, look at me. Dash, look at me. Dash tour. Look at daddy. <gasps> <laughs> As you can see, we are now downtown Minneapolis. I'm using a new tool on my GoPro. It is a windsock. It's very windy out here today. So hopefully the sound is okay. I guess we'll see in, in post if it is or not. But of course, had to bring the boy to the bank. Yes, indeed. Let's get the <laughs> shot here. Hey, Hi, Deja Boy. <laughs> Are you happy to be at the U.S. Bank Stadium? <laughs> look behind you, Dash. Look, look, look back there. Wow! Oh, wow it's so big. U.S. Bank, known as Valhalla to those Viking fans. Can Skull, you say baby. Valhalla? You say Valhalla? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your little bashful smile. Yeah. Alright, should we, should we go up to the biggest building you've ever been next to? <laughs> His little smile. <laughs> oh, buddy. Look how tiny the doors are. That's where people fit. But you know what else, so buddy? Small. These are also massive doors that open. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. They're huge. They're huge. They're Huge. They're huge. They're huge. They're huge. <laughs> huge. Hey, that was maybe your best impression. 100%. 100%. I've never been one to, to nail down a Donald Trump impression, but huge. <laughs> it's huge. That's probably the best I can give you. That is a huge problem. <laughs> My heart is soaring right now. <laughs> can you walk to the window? Yes, Queen! <laughs> My little boy touching the glass of US Bank Stadium and now crawling amongst. Where are you going? <laughs> Hit the crinkle of his coat. Oh, baby. He's losing his socks. <laughs> Bro, you lost your socks. <laughs> are you thinking? Thinking about that rock? <laughs> Jack, I don't trust you with that rock. <laughs> You're gonna wash your hands. <laughs> bye bye, Dash. Should we, uh, should we look inside, buddy? Should you look inside? Daddy turned his head around so he can look too. Can you see inside there? Oh yeah. Oh, the memories. Skull! 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 You want to pull on the door? Doesn't open. Surprised. Hey, can we get some special treatment out here for Dasher Boy? <laughs> Try this one. 
pull, 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 pull. Ah, <laughs> he tried. <gasps> Yay! Just sitting dormant. Hopefully waiting for our first round draft picked quarterback that's going to take us into a new era of Vikings football. Right. Sorry to all you people that don't like the Vikings. This isn't for you. And here is downtown Minneapolis. Okay, so we're back at the Airbnb. We're just kind of getting settled in and Tiny's sharing some thoughts about how this is a five-star rating. And I just want to prove this to you, everybody. There's Dash, hi Dash. Um, you can see five, 5.0, guest favorite, one of the most loved homes on Airbnb based on ratings, reviews, and reliability. And if you look right here, I know it's not truly in focus, but the overall rating, five stars, zero, four, three, two, or one stars out of 38 ratings total. Cleanliness 5.0, accuracy 5.0, check-in 5.0, communication 5.0, location 5.0, value 5.0. It's just five stars after five stars. Five star, five star, five star, five star, five star. Well, teeny one over here. <laughs> she looked out this window right there and she saw the co-host and she just was like, she could like be peeking through that window. And I'm like, listen, okay, they're, they're co-hosts. There's a host as well. There's a host and two co-hosts. And they, I'm like, listen, they make, they make money off of this. It's like a side, either a side hustle or they make their income. And she had this to say. <laughs> well, his reasoning for why they couldn't be doing that is like they have five stars. Well, my thought is that they're just killing everybody who comes in here and giving themselves five stars <laughs> so that they always have people to kill. They know they're gonna draw people with all those five stars. So they just keep, you know, bringing them on in and murdering them. Murdering them. And then giving themselves five stars. <laughs> <laughs> because they would have an endless supply of people to murder. Now, I will say that Tiny never listens to like true crime podcasts. She doesn't like any of that kind of stuff. She never watches like documentaries about murder or serial killers. She doesn't listen to audiobooks about people being locked in a cellar. Nothing of the like, okay? So keep that in mind. So, I mean, to have her say that, it just like makes you think like, maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe every person that is leaving a review is just Phil and Sue. And Chad. And Chad. Leave, like grabbing people's phones that they kill and leaving reviews on their Airbnb apps. So needless to say, that door is locked. So is the other door. Um, they do know the codes to get in here. So there is that. We do have that information. And if we needed to hide in the bathroom, like there's not enough room in there. No, when you, yeah, yeah, when you sit on that pot, you're literally uh -huh. almost kissing the wall, like no joke. Like you're just trying to go in there and, and embrace some throne time, and you're just staring at the wall until Sue comes busting down your door to say, "Give us a five star rating." And they force you to. All right, well, we're exhausted and it's been a long day. So we're gonna call it for tonight, but in the morning, well, not right away in the morning, but Mall of America, coming soon. Stay tuned, we'll see you soon. Welcome back everybody. We are now at the Mall of America. <laughs> in all realness, this is our second time here today. First time did not really go all that well. There's just lots of things that you experience as first time parents, even after the first year that just throws your day for a loop. And yeah. A you toddler is very different from a baby. <laughs> yes, you come in with uh, expectations and are quickly reevaluating them or forced to reevaluate them. So we went for a drive and let Dash get uh, some sleep for about an hour. And now we're heading back inside to hit the reset button. That's right. <laughs> get some food and 
try this over again. Mm -hmm. So, no idea what we're going to find, no idea what we're going to do. We're gonna, just going to follow the flow and let the main man lead the way. Right, Dash? <laughs> right, Dash? And this is our view right now. Isn't this cool? Look how high up we are. Yeah, it's so cool. What do you think, buddy? Pretty high up, huh? All the little people down there. You're a little person too. Yeah. But you're just a little because you're little. <laughs> oh, I think he's cold. All right, let's go yeah, inside. Alright, so we're at a place that's never been here at the Mall of America since we've been here. It's called Ebisu, E-B-I-S-U. It is an Asian market type of store. And there's actually like, different elixirs and skin cares and facial treatments and medications and Dasher Boys. <laughs> Hi, buddy. And yeah, just, I mean, uh, it's my ramen. I'm also trying to talk as much as I can because of the music in the background. I don't want the copyrights. Instagram. So go and check it out on Instagram. There you go. Scan that QR code. All sorts of stuff over here. Dash, what do you think of the Mall of America so far? I see it's so good that you're drilling about it. What do you think about down there? It's pretty high up, huh? Can you wave? Dash is just telling me that the Mall of America is so good he can't stop drooling about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dang, super good. Yeah. That's good. I understand, Dash. We love it, too. We do. <clears throat> what, are you, uh, what are you playing with? Your gum container? Bubble. You chewed all your gum already? Uh, bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Can you do it? Your turn. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> I saved it. 
Okay, say bye bye. One thing I've taken note of from Dale Phillips, which he just travels constantly and films constantly, is he just never stops filming. And it's like, you really just gotta get over the idea of who cares what people are looking at, wondering about. It's a lot harder to do than you'd realize. <laughs> We finally found it. We found the new brick and mortar Toys R Us. Let's go. Dang. Oh, it even smells good in here. It does smell good. I want a selfie with Jeffrey. Like him? <laughs> Do you see Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. This is what daddy grew up with. Yeah. But generally daddy couldn't afford Toys R Us prices. And probably still can't. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. <laughs> can you wave at Jeffrey? Dash, can you wave at Jeffrey? Can you clap at Jeffrey? Yeah. Good job. I mean, obviously there's a certain feeling of Toys R Us's that are gonna be extremely hard to capture in a place like this. I don't think I've ever been to one before. Really? Yeah. Tiny's never been to a Toys R Us? It's my first one. Yeah. First Toys R Us for Tiny? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. The brand new Toys R Us is the first one. It's a very nice store. I would say it's like, a, it feels a bit all over the place. Yeah, I don't get what this is. Like, there really are. doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of specific organization, although there definitely is. Yeah. Oh, this is like Dasher Boy That's stuff. Fun. Oh, these are so fun. Wow. I saw those. Man, they're great quality. Young focus? Jedi Adventures. Wow! It's cool, isn't it? You get to touch and poke them. Can you poke it? Good, Good job. job, buddy. Can you poke that one? Can you poke it? Good job. Good job. <laughs> of course, they have all the cool toys at Toys R Us, which is only up here at Mall of America currently. Side note. Mall of America, you need to fix your accessibility for strollers and wheelchairs because it's really bad. <gasps> oh, little Tykes car. Your daddy drove one of those when he was your age. Yeah. Is that cool, buddy? Mine didn't have eyes on it, though. Mine was just a car. Yeah. Yeah. Take it all in. Toys R Us is back. Godzilla. Oh yeah. Minya. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. That's nice looking, huh? Oh, we got some wrestler stuff. Got Dr. Britt Baker Supreme Fig. I don't think I've ever seen that. Darby Allen. 30 bucks though, those are definitely high. I'll do the same, yeah, 30 bucks. You see, they're higher than everywhere else. They're usually like 20 to 22. Come on, Toys R Us. This is why you're not in business. Oh, where are you going? Are you eating, buddy? Yes, he is, he says. <laughs> this is when I name it 3D on my YouTube channel. What are you eating? Your very first fast food ever? Yep. Because there's no other options. As mommy said, don't get used to it, little man. We have better things for you than fast food. 
<laughs> He's loving it though. We got A and W. A and W. It is good quality food for fast food, but it's still fast food nonetheless. We are slowing down. It is now 7.45. Mall closes in an hour and 15. It's been a, uh, it's been a lot today. Shopping with a toddler is no joke, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. That's right. So, what's the water? <laughs> From hamburger to blanket, that's our boy. Well, we're not really sure what the rest of the visit's gonna bring. We may do a little bit more shopping. We may just book out of here and head home. Either way, it's great for the experience and the memories of bringing Dash to the Mall of America for the very first time. Whether it went according to our expectations or not, it doesn't really matter. Because it's not just about us. It's about little Dasher boy eating his food behind his blanket and having a good time and making memories as a family. We have one more day in Minnesota. Well, we leave for home tomorrow. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. But in light of that, if we do not come back, hopefully you enjoyed this little weekend getaway. Dash, you have any words? He's like, uh, blanket. That's his word, blanket. All right, if this is it, thank you again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you uh, are not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. The large percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. It's a massive percentage difference between the people who subscribe and who do not subscribe. And so thank you for those of you who have subscribed and I continue to watch the product. And if you haven't, hit that like button. It helps push the videos in the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Plenty more content to come from us as well as Little Dasher Boy. And as always, it is only in no foot, and we will see you all in the next one. In the next one. This is our farewell shot, everybody. Oh, it's so cool. Take in the sights and the sounds of the Nickelodeon universe here at the Mall of America.